everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is another special unboxing video where I show you all the cool stuff that was sent to me. This is everything that was sent to me in the month of May 2018. There is one item here that I actually ordered for myself, but I thought you might like to see it, so I'm going to show that to you as well. Uh, the rest of it was sent to me by viewers like you. And as is our normal practice now, if you send me something, I'm going to show it to everyone. I'm going to share it with the whole class. So uh, you guys have sent me some really cool stuff. Uh, this month is no exception. I've already opened these packages to see what's in them. I just couldn't help myself, uh, so I am going to show you now uh, what I've already seen. Uh, some really cool stuff here. We will start with the thing that I ordered. Uh, it's something that I needed to complete. Uh, it's in this envelope here. Um, it is a figure, and by the way, um, it was a figure sent in just this padded envelope. Um, you guys, if you're going to send an action figure to someone, if, like you're selling it on eBay or something like that, um, more packing material than just the padded envelope. Uh, some figures, some vintage figures are a little bit fragile uh, and that'd be very easy to break them in transit uh, without more packing material than that. So if you're going to send it in, a, uh, in an envelope like this, a padded envelope, uh, give it an extra, um, uh, an extra layer of bubble wrap or something, something to give it a little bit more safety and security while it's in the mail. But anyway, this one made it okay. This is a pretty sturdy figure. It's not one known to be fragile. Uh, and that figure is Big Boa. There we go. Big Boa from 1987. Let's zoom in there so you can get a good look at him. Uh, this is a figure that I've had not complete for a while. Um, and the essentially I have parts of the figure and they're not in very good shape. So um, I wanted to go ahead and, you know, finish this one, uh, get this one um, done with because it's something that has been requested quite a bit. Uh, there are surprisingly a large number of fans of Big Boa. Uh, so I wanted to get this one done. So I went ahead and got one that is complete. Uh, it's got his little hose on his uh, helmet. It even has the file card, uh, so this thing is ready to review. It does have his little punching bag in there with the stand. He's got his two boxing gloves. Everything is there, so everyone who's been wanting to see Big Boa, well, now he can be seen pretty soon because I have him complete. The next item was sent to me by Philip Powers. Uh, and he sent it to me because it's something that uh, he knew that I needed. Uh, and so it's a kind of a big envelope for what it is. Uh, but that's perfect. Nicely packed, by the way. This is the way to do it. Uh, this is an item that has some extra backing uh, so it doesn't get bent up in shipment. Uh, and we have a letter from Philip that says, shoot me a PM when this arrives. It says, keep up the good work and love the show. I did send him a private message to let him know that I got this. And so now I'm gonna show, show you what it is. Um, it is a file card. Uh, it's an important file card, at least to me, not a rare file card, but one that I needed. Uh, and that is the Crimson Guard. The Cobra Crimson Guard gray back file card. Uh, as you may know, if you watched my uh, quick shot of Crimson Guard that I put up not too long ago, this is the only one that I was missing. That means Crimson Guard is now ready for review. Uh, and that's fantastic. Crimson Guard uh, is can be kind of a difficult figure to complete, especially if you're looking for all the file card variants and all that. Um, but I finally got this thing complete. Uh, I know that is a fan favorite, and I love this figure too, so I'm going to enjoy looking at that figure. I am saving that review for a special occasion, uh, so it's not going to be immediate, but I do have specific plans for this uh, review. Uh, I'll be very happy to look at Crimson Guard now that he's ready. And the last one is this one, this box uh, that was sent by Michael Johnson. Uh, another one that was very nicely packaged, uh, very good packing in there, uh, plenty of packing material, nothing got broken, and that's important because this one came from farther away, this one came from the United Kingdom. Uh, and, uh, you know, when I got this, um, you know, I couldn't wait till I got it on camera. I just had to open it and see what was in here, uh, and I was surprised, uh, and this is just... It's just, just too cool. So um, this is from Michael. Um, I did uh, pull out the packing material, so lots of packing material. I went ahead and did that so I could just pull the items out of the box and show you what's in here. Michael included a letter, and the letter actually um, describes what's in the box, so I'm not going to read this to you because I want it to be a surprise. I don't want to 
spoil the surprise. And right off the bat, we have three action figures. Three action force action figures. Let's zoom that in because you got to see these. These are too cool. Um, what we have here... We have, uh, if you're a fan of Action Force, you already recognize these, right? Um, we have the SAS Commander uh, in all black. Really cool figure. Uh, from, and these are all from that earlier period of Action Force where they had, like, uh, Star Wars articulation, the five points of articulation. Um, and I just find these figures especially charming. Um, and just being able to see them in person and hold them in my hand just feels special. Uh, th this is something that is beyond G.I. Joe for me. Uh, it's something different. It's something special. Uh, and just being able to, to hold these and touch them and show them to you, uh, is just it just means a lot to me. So, SAS Squad Leader here. Sorry, I'm not wearing a light-colored shirt so you can see it better. Um, we have, there we go, Mouton, which is a uh, figure that um, I think... Maybe not the best loved figure, uh, kind of a funny looking guy uh, in a, a diving helmet. Um, and then we have a Space Force Commander. Uh, so this is the first uh, Space Force figure that I've received. Um, and just, it's got that Space Force symbol. It's just something kind of um, fun, old school science fiction about the look of this figure. So these are pretty cool, but this, this is not all that was sent. There's also something very special still on the box. Okay, I've saved the biggest item for last here, and this is really exciting to me. Uh, the other thing in the box is the Action Force Hyena. This uh, G.I. Joe fans will immediately recognize as the Hiss Tank uh, only in red with a lot more stickers, uh, a lot more deca uh, decals, um, details there added. Uh, but the Hiss Tank in red is gorgeous. That is amazing. These Action Force items, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I, I received the uh, Action Force uh, helicopter uh, earlier, and now the Hiss Tank, and uh, I just... I mean, I've seen pictures of these, but I never actually thought uh, they would be in my possession. And for that, I have to thank uh, the uh, folks from the UK that have sent these to me. Thank you, Michael. Um, that's just, uh, this is special. I mean, maybe this is just a common thing uh, in the UK and uh, Action Force collectors uh, don't think it's a big deal. But for me, this is a really big deal, especially considering how much I love the His Tank. Um, and in red, you know, there are certain um, colors that I prefer to see Cobra vehicles in, and red is one of them. Uh, it looks fantastic in red, uh, of course, with the, the black tracks uh, for some contrast. And uh, this is a beautiful vehicle. I love this thing. And that's everything that was sent to me in the month of May in 2018. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Michael. And thank you to everyone who has sent stuff to me and uh, donated things to the channel. Uh, it is so greatly appreciated. Um, and... Uh, I've received a ton of stuff that I might have had some difficulty getting on my own, uh, but you have uh, managed to make uh, you know producing these videos much easier because you've helped. And things like things like file cards. Um, that uh, may seem like a small thing, uh, but it's an important thing because it's part of what we do uh, on this channel. I always look at the file cards too. A lot of figures, they come without file cards. Um, not everybody collects the file cards, but I do need them. And just having things like that sent to me just makes it so much easier to get things ready for review. So you guys have really moved this channel forward uh, in, in ways that uh, I hadn't been able to. You've moved the channel forward. You You've made uh, reviews possible, and uh, all I can do is show my appreciation by uh, trying to give you the best uh, videos that I can give you every week, producing the best I can do, uh, putting forth my best effort, and that's what I will continue to do, uh, and thank you to everyone who has helped. Action Force. You know, I had done a review of Action Force, but obviously I couldn't cover everything, and I left a lot of the vehicles uh, untouched. I really didn't look very much at the vehicles. Well, I've got this Action Force stuff now, uh, thanks to the generosity of people who have sent it in, I feel like I should do another 
another Action Force review, uh, do like a part two. Uh, and um, it's not something that I had planned, but at this point I feel like I should because I, you guys have sent me enough stuff that it seems like that's something that you would like to see. So I'm not sure exactly how that's going to come about, uh, but I'm going to give some thought to that uh, on how I might do another Action Force review. And maybe I can see if I can get uh, Cyber Tiger to come back and help with it. Uh, that would be great. I would love that. I really enjoyed working on the first one, and I'd love to do another one. Uh, if, I, if there's some way I can work that into the schedule, that would be fantastic. So thank you to everyone. You know that I, I collect um, you know, American domestic releases of G.I. Joe, uh, so these th weren't things that I were chasing, but because they're not something that uh, you know, I would normally bring into my collection, these toys are like legendary. Uh, there are things that you know I had seen in photographs, but not really so much in person, and never thought I would actually, you know, have them and and be able to touch and, and see them up close. So um, the fact that you sent these to me is uh, just incredible. Um, it's kind of like. I don't know. I, I can't describe it. It's it's just it's it's very special to me. Thank you very much. If anyone would like to send some donations to me, uh, you're certainly welcome to do that. Just send me a private message uh, either uh, through email, uh, through the website, um, or Facebook or Twitter. However you want to do it, I can tell you how to do that. Uh, you never should feel like you have to do that. Nobody should feel obligated to send something to me. Uh, but uh, if you do send something to me, I'm going to share it with everyone and show my appreciation to you because I do appreciate appreciate it very much. So uh, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I got another uh, vintage G.I. Joe toy review coming up very soon. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, but uh, thanks everyone for tuning in every week. Uh, we got some great stuff coming up and I will see you soon.